Hi, everybody. My name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. We're the Yahoo and Tour YouTube channel. And we thank you very, very much for hanging out with us and for hanging this time. It is a Thor's Day on our uh, Gregorian calendar. It is a what day, boys? Fifth day. Fifth day. Um, yeah, it is a fifth day on the uh, Creator's calendar, which makes it the fourth day of his month. It is the 26th day on the Gregorian. Um, this week is going super, super fast. Anyone um, disagree with that? Nope. No. No. Very fast. All right. Um, give me a Bible count. How many guys? I, I did another video on this and I showed everyone, but I didn't I show you guys. I know the total of everything, but I don't know. Oh, you see it? No, you said. I, I, I don't the want the total. total of everything. I want the total of how many English Bibles Yah has distributed this month. Ooh. Don't look, anyone. What right. was our last what number? Was, yeah, what was our I last feel like we, we said it was like 250, but now what are we at? I'm we, say, we are at the 26th of this month. All right. Um. Uh, five twenty six, four ninety five. Okay. Um. I'll tell you guys, both of you are really close. Don't, don't look. So that means they're like five eleven, five twelve. Oh, that's no five hundred two, five hundred two uh, restored names, scriptures. Um, the Torah Commands book has one hundred fifty downloads. I can't believe that. I didn't think people were actually going to go for that. Huh? It's a terrible book. It it's not okay. Let's 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 clarify it. The, they wrote the book wrong. The Torah, the Torah Commands good. book the itself. Where they ordered it, put it, and then explained it is terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. No, you can get a better um, reading at the Yahoo and the Torah site where we have these listed up, and I think it just read better. I thought. All right, let's continue on. Um, another thing that people really like are the Pictograph Aleph Bet flashcards. I, I those did, are fun. Pick those up. Huh? They're fun. People should pick those up. Yeah, pick those up. I mean, you can print them off and you can you can sit Cut there and, out, and learn Hebrew. Them. Yeah, laminate them, learn Hebrew, all sorts of stuff like this. All right, so let us continue into this. Um, before we go into this, guys, again, I'm going to say this every single day until I get these family, this family, a, um, a place, right? So these people have not, they do not have a home. We have two families that are still homeless. Um, we almost have enough for one of these guys to get like three quarters of a little tiny bus. And these buses are not nice ones. These are buses are the ones that um, the, the kids got, you know, they, they used them for 25 years and then they, they're selling them. So they're anywhere between four and five and $6,000, depending on what you get. And I, I guess you can get really, really expensive ones, but these ones are the old beater ones that will work well, that will keep them dry and keep them safe. So guys, if you can help this family, I will put the GoFundMe link at the bottom of it. Again, this we don't take donations at all. We don't ask for donations. We don't do any of this, but we are asking for donations for these folks. And you can donate directly to them at the GoFundMe and anything. One, two, three dollars, anything. Or prayers. If you guys can pray for these guys, they, they really need your help. And um, we're still um, talking to them. And today I will be posting an interview that I'm going to be doing with um, one of the families. His name is Aaron Parks. He is a, an amazing uh, individual and I will be doing an interview today and we'll try to get that uploaded today as well. All right, gentlemen, um, anything going on with you guys? Um, no, not much. Um, it's going to be another work day for us here on the farm doing farm stuff. Yeah, farm stuff. What are you working on out there, Jade? Um, well, we were doing some clean organization, finishing up some stuff, but I think that's done, so I guess we're on to the next mission. Yeah, we're on to the next mission. We'll and go. it's not bath day because we did swap that. So today, yeah, bath, bath days on first days. Day. Yeah, it used to be bath day for the dogs, and we used to stop everything and do bath days, but then we started doing it on first day, which took a little bit to, to figure out. But yeah, doggies do get in their baths. All right, how many verses in this, gentlemen? 59. 59. Yeah. And you guys know this because you proofread it? No, did I you just proofread? looked. Okay, you looked. Yeah, I proofread it. You proofread it? Yep. Did you do a good job? Yeah, right. I believe so. All right. All right, here we go. And, Yahu and Yahushua went to the Mount of Olives. And at dawn he came into the Mikdash. What is the Mikdash, guys? Uh, that is the temple. Okay. And all the people were coming to him, and having sat down, he was teaching them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And having put her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. And in the Torah, Moshe, in the, is that what it says? Yeah, that's yes. what it says. No common, no be, in, in the Torah, common Moshe, that's what, in the Holy Scriptures, it's messed up. <laughs> it seems wrong. And in the Torah, it should it be in of com, Moshe? Torah, comma, in the Torah, comma, Moshe said. Okay, in the Torah, Moshe commanded us that such should be stoned. What then do you say? All right, guys. First of all, what did these people do wrong in this whole thing? Hebraji uh, Yahushua, who is not one of the heads of the people, he is not one of the judges of the land, but they still... And brought they, it to him. I mean, I, they brought brought it to him, right? There's more stuff he explains here, but I, I can give spoilers. Or we well, don't do the spoilers. Talk about this. Why? Okay, what did they do wrong about this? First of all, besides that, what you just said, Kate. Uh, they brought it to the temple. 
And besides that, um, they had. You know, what is the Torah for I, adultery? I don't want to spoil it, but I'm pretty sure you gotta like bring the accusers, right? Right, you gotta bring yeah, both of them, right? That, isn't that what they you do? You, that. you're right, right, and I'm sure they talk about this, but that is part of the Torah: is you do not just bring the woman caught in adultery; you bring the man. If they're both in adultery, what do we do with them? We stone them. Take them outside, outside the, the gate. Yes, but, they, but they brought it inside the temple. Yeah, they brought they brought this all inside, and they forgot the other guy that she was supposedly having this adulterous. And the guy, the guy accusing. Yeah, and then all of them. Yeah, all these people are accusing, and they they did it wrong. Okay. Um, should have been the guilty, the accused, and the ready to throw stones. Yeah, everybody should have gone there, not, not just that woman. Okay, six. And this they said, trying him, so that they might accuse him. But Yahushua, bending down, wrote on the ground with his with the finger as though he did not hear. Now, did your guys did your guys say, but Yahushua, comma, bending, comma, down, comma? Yeah. It really says that? Where? Like in, in this, Yahushua, verse six. But Yahushua, comma, bending down, comma. No, bending, comma? No. Okay, yeah, you guys have commas everywhere. You guys, you guys are busted. I busted you both. Okay, yeah, so that's that is incorrect, and this is what we were trying to figure out right here. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't even read right. But Yahushua, comma, bending, comma, down. Okay, so anyway, sorry guys. We're not only are we um, reading this with you guys, but we are also double proofreading this as well, which it sounds like we're gonna have to go a little slower and do this. Maybe Cade, we'll have to get you in on this to double check on this. Maybe we do this twice. That would be really good. Um, all right, so continuing on, he got down with his finger and he started writing stuff in the sand or in the dirt. But as they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, he who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. And bending down again, he wrote on the ground. And when they heard it, being reproved by conscience, went out one by one, beginning from the older ones until the last. And Yahushua was left alone and the woman standing in the middle. What was he writing? Um, I don't know. We don't exactly never know. Really explained. There's always but speculation. What do you suppose he would be writing that all of these people would start leaving? Uh, maybe start writing down all their sins. Maybe, names. Maybe their sins. Names. Um, maybe 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 one of them had an affair with Martha, so he wrote Martha's name out there and the guy's name. Yeah, or maybe he was like. Uh, Ask him where, why are we starting the temple, or maybe he's writing down commands. No, I know. think yeah, I think he totally owned every single one of these guys right here. He showed them that what they did was incorrect, and he wrote on there and um, he shamed them because he he wrote their sins on the ground. I think. Okay, ten. What do you got, Mystical? I just need to fix this. Okay, and Yahushua straightening up and seeing no one but the woman said to her, "Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Did no one condemn you?" And she said, no one, Adonai. And Yahushua said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. All right. Do you think she went and sinned anymore? Or do you think she, do you think she changed her ways? I don't I would think assume she, so, right? she was on the She was on the verge of like getting killed. She was on the verge of death. I would hope she would change her ways. Yes. I mean, but Dion, I don't think she even sinned, so... What do you mean she didn't sin? She was with another man. We don't know that. There was no accuser. I think they, oh, I think they just grabbed a random woman and like, look, she sinned. That could be. That could be. Absolutely. Well, that's a good point. Twelve. Therefore, Yahushua spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall by no means walk in darkness, but possess the light of Kai. What does this mean, guys? This means that... What is the light of Kai? The light of Kai is the light, light of life. Light of life. Okay. So how is it that we are, if we follow Messiah Yahushua, that we no longer walk in darkness, but we possess light? What does this mean? You mean he is light, and we, we now walk in the light. We walk in the right path, which is light. And what is light? Light is... What well, could you call light? What would you guess? The Torah. The Torah. I would call Torah like, light. Uh, the bread. The, 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 your laws are lamp unto my feet, or light to my path. Yep. Okay, let's continue on. 13. The Pharisees therefore said to him, You bear witness about yourself. Your witness is not true. Yahushua answered and said to them, Even if I witness concerning myself, my witness is true. For I know where I came from and where I am going, but you do not know from where I come or where I go. Okay, so very, very... Um, Big stuff, right? These guys are like, you're, you're, uh, you don't have a witness. And um, Messiah says he does. 15. <clears throat> you judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. But even if I do judge, my judgment is true because I am not alone. But I am the Father who sent me. All right? Again, we need to talk about this. It says the Father who sent him. If he is the Father, if the Trinity is correct, and everybody that believes that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all the same individuals... Um, we need to um, understand that our creator is different 
than the son. The son is not the creator and the son, the, the father is not the son. <clears throat> 17. And in your Torah also, it has been written that the witness of two men is true. I am one who witnesses concerning myself and the father who sent me witnesses concerning me. I feel like instead of saying in your Torah, should in the Torah, because then a lot of people get confused. Now it's like, oh, it was the Torah only for the Jews, their Torah. Yeah, and that's true. That We know of what? How do we know if the Torah is for us? Because we are the children of Israel. Those who, oh, whoever keeps the laws are the children of Israel. And is the Torah good for everybody, or is it good for... All generations. It's good for people who want to be in the kingdom of Yah. Natives and strangers. Yah. Natives and strangers, yes. So the Torah is for everybody. Yes, yeah, that confused a lot of people. like, oh, it's only for the Jews, because it's their Torah, not his Torah. Yeah. All right, 19. Therefore they said to him, Where is your father? Yahushua answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If you know me, if you knew me, you would have known my father also. Okay, um, how, how would they have known the father if they knew him? Because they would know that he is the son. They would know that where, that he came from Yahuwah on a mission. To that his fruits are of the Torah, right? And that is how we judge people is based upon the fruits. And they, all of the fruits of Messiah Yahushua is keeping the Torah, um, just doing, doing the Torah. 21. Yeah, you get that. Uh, actually, 20. These words Yahushua spoke in the treasury, teaching in the Mikdash, and no one laid hands on him because his hour had not come. Okay, he was teaching in the treasury. What do you guys make of that? Um, that's the treasury. I think that's where they probably received their like their donations or whatever. So he was just teaching right there where people are giving money in? Probably. Do you think they have piles of cash stash where people can see it or I'm anything? sure. I'm sure these people were donating as much as they could. Then they're like, donate to us, you know, we're the people. So. But I'm sure the treasury wasn't. I mean, they don't. I wouldn't think that they would put all that money visible that people yeah, would see it. Yeah, probably not. They probably, Back room or something. like where they received the donations or like. How probably. They, yeah, it wasn't like. Something that'd be open, right? I don't think anybody's ever gonna put fat stacks of cash next to something, right? The people are gonna steal it, right? <laughs> well, or they see giant piles of cash, and people are like, "Well, they don't need this money. I'll, uh, I'll put this where I, yeah. in my pocket." So, okay. you, did you think Yoshua grew up with these Pharisees and Sadducees? He would have probably known a lot of these guys from from youth, right? Yeah, I mean, and, uh, or run into them. And so, when he grew up, did he have? Did they think he had, like some character changes? I mean, a lot of these guys should have known him. Like, this isn't Yoshua. Is he changed something? Maybe he's like this in his entire life. Well, he was teaching when he was a kid, though. So did he change that much? Or I, don't, is, I don't know because now he's like he's been he's been a warring with them for like the last eight chapters. That would be so he's crazy. He's in Jerusalem, right? I think so. He's from Galil. He's not from Jerusalem. I really wish we had another eight books, right? The the youth of Messiah. Yeah, youth of Messiah. Where did he go prior? There were time. I mean, where do we go until he was thirty years old? We know you know we know from fourteen or something or young when he's really yeah, young. We have one. Once we're, we're missing born, fifteen years. Then we twelve, and then we have thirty. Yeah, where does all that time go? What was his path? What was his mission? How did he? How did he come to find out what he was doing, or did he always know what it was? Those are amazing questions. I would love to ask one day, hopefully. Okay, um, twenty one. Therefore, Yahushua said to them again, I am going away, and you shall seek me, and you shall die in your sin. Where I go, you are unable to come. Okay, uh, that's clear enough. You're going to die in your sin. We all will. I mean, how do we not die in our sin? Uh, you repent. repent. You, the Torah, you, you repent. repent. You we'll yourself. all still die in sin, but only because of Messiah Yahushua do we have that shot. Okay, 22. Then the Yahudim said, Shall he kill himself because he says, Where I go, you are unable to come? I guess that'd be a valid question, right? I mean, people are like, you know, Enoch told people, well, I, I'm going to go too. And they're like, where are you going to go? And he was gone. 23. And he said to them, you are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. Therefore, I said to you that you shall die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you shall die in your sins. All right. Right here, the people will go right here. For if you do not believe that I am. You, sh you shall die in your sins. Okay, this is uh, going to be a tricky thing for everybody who says that I am um, that. Um, Jaden, are you my son? I am. Are you sure? You're not me? Yeah. You just said I am. Yeah, and that doesn't mean I'm Yahuwah yeah, either. Right, because he, yeah, definitely. Because the verse up, he says, I am not of this world. And he goes, if you do not believe that I am, then uh, you won't make it. So he's basically saying, if you don't believe I'm not of this world, then you're not going to make it. Yeah, and when he's saying I am, he's not saying he is our creator. And it's not capitalized either, because I am is capitalized. Yeah, and so we are not, he's not our creator. He's the son, which, you know, if, if you are okay with Hasatan killing our creator for three days, where did, where, who, was, who was running the world at that point, right? It could have really gone to a, a mess. Okay, 25. 
Then they said to him, who are you? And Yahushua said to them, altogether that which I even say to you, I have much to say and to judge concerning you, but he who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, these I speak to the world. And there's a huge typo. Yeah, you guys missed that. Uh -uh -uh. All right. Two strikes, gentlemen. Uh, and what I heard from him, which should I be a comma? No. Yeah, there should be a comma. There's a comma after that. Then I speak to the world. All right. It's a good thing we're proofing this, gentlemen. 27. They did not know that he spoke to them of the Father. So Yahushua said to them, When you lift up the bin of Adam, then you shall know that I am he, and that I do not of myself, but as my Father taught me, these I speak. Okay. He just clearly told us that his Father taught him stuff. Can you guys say that during your life, your Father has taught you stuff? Absolutely. Yeah, and so that is what fathers do, right? And if you said, if you went and started saying, "Look, I've, I've, I've taught myself all this stuff," right? And you didn't teach yourself that, you might be crazy, right? Because some, we all learn the stuff somewhere. Okay. Twenty nine. And he who sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases Him. Okay, if He is the Father. Then, then none of this would make any sense at all. He pleases himself. He pleases himself, right? And then he also is crazy because he says the Father has not left him alone, which would truly be true because he is the Father if he was the Father, right? So, But he's not, right? And this is where we got to break this, this spell of the Trinity. It's just, it's evil. 30. As he was speaking these words, many believed in him. So Yahushua said to those Yahudim who believed in him, if you stay in my word... You are truly my Talmudian, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. All right, that's famous, right? That, that quote right there, if you know the truth, the truth shall make you free. Whenever you hear that, they're quoting out of scriptures, right? What is he talking about if you stay in my word? You are my Talmudian. Uh, what word is he talking about, and why is the word, well, there would word be, capitalized? At this point, there would be no um, Gospels. There would be no New Testament. Paul wouldn't have written his letters yet, so it can only be a few things. The Torah. Yeah, the word is a Torah. That is what is our Messiah's, what he follows. It is his dad's word. And then he says, if you keep it, you are truly my Talmudian. What is a Talmudian, guys? A disciple. disciple. Disciple, yeah. And the truth just make you free. Absolutely. 33. They answered him. We are the seed of Abraham. And that's misspelled too. You guys have Abraham. Wow, you guys botched this one. We are the seed of Abraham and have been servants to no one at any time. How do you say... You shall become free. Yahushua answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone doing sin is a servant of sin. And the servant does not stay in the house forever. A son stays forever. All right, what are we talking about here? So it basically says a servant doesn't forever stay in a house. You know, a servant at some point, he will go on to his next job. He'll go to the next place according to serve. To be Torah. sold off. According to the Torah. Right, according to right. the Torah. Right. It says a son stays in that house forever. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, 36. If then the bed makes you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are the seed of Abraham, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. Now, is it his word or is it his father's word or is it both of their words? What are we talking about? I would about? say it's Yah speaking through Yahushua. It's, it's, it, if you're keeping the Torah, it's the word of Yah, right? It is The word is the word and Messiah is he he falls on his father's word he, he's like this is my word because it is his father's word as it should be our word right it should be what we take and what we do okay 38 i speak what i've seen with my father and you do what you have heard from your father they answered and said to him abraham is our father yahushua said to them if you were abraham's children you would do the works of abraham but now you seek to kill me a man who has spoken to you the truth, which I heard from Elohim. Abraham did not do this. Boy, that's going to make them mad right there. If you do the works of your father, then they said to him, you, oh, sorry, you do the works of your father. Then they said to him, we were not, we were not born of whoring. We have one father, Elohim. Yahushua said to them, if Elohim were your father, you would love me. For I came forth from Elohim and am here. For I have not come of myself, but he sent me. And again, I don't think anyone that has ever said, well, a father, the son, and the Holy Spirit are the same people. I don't think they've ever read John, right? 
it doesn't say it, right? For I have not come of myself, but he sent me. Is it, but it, for I have not come of myself. Is that what it says? But he sent me? Yeah, but it's missing a period. But he sent me. Yeah, okay. Four botches. Wow, this is the worst one you guys have done yet. Four, 43. Why do you not know what I say? Because you aren't able to hear my word. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and has not stood in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks the lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I speak the truth, you do not believe me. Who of you proves me wrong concerning sin? And if I speak the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of Elohim hears the words of Elohim. Therefore, you do not hear because you are not of Elohim. Now, them are fighting words, right? Um, these Pharisees and Sadducees, if he would have said this out there, these guys would have started uh, towing the line and these guys would have started. I mean, this is, if somebody, if they, you told a Sadducee or Pharisee they are not from Elohim, they are going well, to be you, furious. You, you told them they're not what they think they are. Yeah, that, and that's, you're, you're exactly right. 48. The Yahudim answered and said to him, do we not say well that you are a showman right and have a demon? So they're like, <laughs> don't we say you're a, you're a Shomerite and have a demon? Yahushua answered, I do not have a demon, but I value my father and you do not value me. And I do not seek my own esteem. There is one who is seeking and is judging. Truly, I say to you, if, truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone guards my word, he shall never see death at all. Okay, does that mean we're never going to die, guys? Uh, no, that means we, we will die on this earth, right? All flesh passes away on this earth. But according to the spiritual death, we will not die the spiritual death. Yeah, the second death, which right? Which is going to the, separation from Yah. Yeah, separation from our Elohim. 52. The Yahudim said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died and the Nebium. And say, if anyone guards my word, he shall never taste death at all. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died and the Nebium died? Whom do you make yourself? Did it say, and you're going to say, and the Nebian died? Yep. Okay. Period. Yeah. Who do you make yourself? Yahushua answered, if I esteem myself, my esteem is none at all. It is my father who esteems me, of whom you say that he is your Elohim. And you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I shall be like you, a liar. Man, he was really upset now. Mm, yeah. But I do know him and I guard his word. Okay. This is how we know that we love our creator, right? Because we guard his word. If we do not guard the word of our creator, then by default, you don't love him. If your parents tell you to do something and you laugh at them and mock them and go do your own thing, you would have to understand that you probably don't love and respect your parents. Okay, 56. Your father Abraham was glad that he should see my day and he saw it and rejoiced. The Yahudim therefore said to him, you are not yet 50 years old. And have you seen Abraham? Yahushua said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. Okay, we better stop on this verse before it. This is the verse that always takes out the Trinitarians, right? This is it. They will always go right here. Look, look. It says, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. Did he just say that he is Elohim? The, the no, Elohim no. Most High. He said he existed before the, before Abraham, I was, I am, before Elohim, before uh, And Abraham. people don't understand that, right? All we can understand is our creation. We can understand our life. We were born in 1970-something or 60 or 50, whatever it is. We understand the time that we are in. We don't understand before creation. We don't have a grasp of it. All we have with creation is we have Genesis, right? We have Bereshit. And we don't know anything beyond that. We don't. We didn't know until we read the Targums that the Torah was created 2,000 years before creation. What else happened 2,000 years before creation? Whatever happened before creation? How long was Messiah Yahushua with his dad? It could have been for what we would call forever, right? They could have already had a zillion lives or a zillion different experiences or all these other things. And long before our concept of time ever came about. So when he says, I am... It's just like this. Jaden, are you my son? I am. There you go. That's all this is saying. He's not saying he's he's Yahuwah. 59. Part of, part of the misunderstanding is probably like part of Sefer and KJV's fault. So at the end, they put I am in all caps. Yeah, and you look at that. That is, that is bad. That's um, Dr. Stephen Pigeon in his terrible translation. It says I am. And then it says I am. Says, it's capitalized. Okay, mine says in 58, it says, Yahuwah said unto them, Amen, amen, I stand you before Abraham was, Ehaya. 
I hear ya. It's in Hebrew. See, yeah, and this is, you're reading Sefer? Yeah, I have the older version. Yeah, so the older version, this is where Dr. Stephen Pigeon literally sold out and um, started, he just ruined every translation he had. So it sucks. Okay, 59. Therefore they picked up stones to throw at him, but Yahushua was hidden and went out of the Mikdash, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. And there's a superpower right in front of him, and all of a sudden he's gone. Does he just, like, fade out, and they just don't see him, or they're just, like, blind and, like, Cloak of invisibility. Pops it up, and all of a sudden he goes invisible. Yeah, he he needs this. He needs a special cloak or something, because these people are always trying to mess with him. And uh, it seems like he's a little, um, he's just able to get out of there. He's always several steps ahead of them. He is. He's always. And that's why you don't want to debate Messiah Yahushua. You will end up... Um, walking like away. Yeah, you're looking like a fool. They'll start writing in the dirt and all of a sudden you're going to run for your life because he who is without sin truly cast the first stone. But if we are to judge, we need to judge based upon the Torah and every one of those guys did that wrong. Okay, well, I think that's it, um, everybody. Thank you guys very, very much. Um, to all our family out there, we love you guys very much. We hope you have a wonderful rest of this week. We will see you tomorrow for uh, the, uh, what is it, sixth day tomorrow? Yep. Preparation tomorrow? day. Yeah, preparation day for tomorrow. And um, that is it. Much love to you. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom.